good morning guys welcome back happy sunday if this is your first time here welcome i'm so glad that you've chosen to join me today so i popped a little poll on my instagram stories the other day and i asked you guys if you wanted to see a tutorial for my beach waves um normally i do the intro at the end so obviously i haven't done anything yet um and blow dried my hair this morning i live in these dry bar clips i swear guys i don't know how i'd function without them but i blow dried my hair this morning partially and i'm going to show you how to do a beach wave with a straightener so let's get into it so i'm going to tell you all the products that i prepped my hair with first and i'm also going to brush it out because this little crimp at the bottom is driving me bananas um i was actually at an event the other day and one of the girls mentioned that she didn't know how to get beach waves and that she also tended to do her hair more with the straightener which I did for years I curled my hair strictly with a straightener and that's awesome because I feel like straighteners are one of those things that if you go on a trip and you only can pack one thing you can actually do a lot with a straightener it just takes some learning so after that kind of conversation I was been inspired to figure out how to do the beach waves and I thought about how I kind of curl it with my t3 and then what that concept would look like with the beach waves so it's pretty simple um i will say making sure you have the right products on your hair to hold it is helpful and you might have to toy with it a bit on your own hair it's just getting into the practice of the movement and you pretty much do the same thing for your whole head so prepping my hair i'm going to show you those products first i use my beauty protector i love this product i've been using this product for years um, it's a detangle and heat protectant and then I also threw in some of my Kristen S volumizing mousse and my Kristen S thickening spray so I put all those in I actually really like to get all I put the conditioner in and then everything else in but I brush through kind of each phase so that nothing gets crunchy and then I actually let my hair I like did a rough blow dry on medium heat I have fine hair so I've learned recently that medium heat's a little bit better for my hair it may look like I have more hair than I do but honestly it's the products I have fine hair and I have a fair amount of it but it ends up looking really stringy really thin if I don't use the product so I did a bit of a rough dry through it and then I've been brushing it um, but I let it kind of air dry towards the ends and have just been brushing it out. So I'm actually going to end up parting this more towards the middle of what my hair is right now. So let's see if I can separate that part out. Oh good. I think that did that pretty well. Hold on. Let's check in the mirror behind. Alright, so I normally do this in the same way that I do all of my hair. And pardon the brush. We'll move that over here. Um, in the same way that I do my hair and I section it off. So I normally do three bigger sections. And then I kind of work from there. Now I will say that if you have shorter hair, this method is probably going to be easier for you to do on your hair rather than if you have, uh, if you're trying to do it with a curling iron, because I feel like you can get to it a little bit easier. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do this layer really quickly and fast forward it because you're not going to be able to see anything at this angle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut to the middle section where you can actually see it because if I do it from here, I don't know that you're really going to be able to properly see the waves. So let's cut there now. So you can kind of see the waves right here, but it's, I mean, it's really kind of short and I actually felt I need to touch that one up a smidge. Um, so I'm going to do that really quickly but it's hard to see and do at the same time. So you can see the technique. So the thing that makes this situation work the best is the S curl. Um, I've tried the S curl before. I think that Kaylee Melissa's tutorial about Jennifer Lawrence's hair after the Oscars was how I really learned how to do it. And it can take a little bit of mastering and just kind of figuring out what that looks like for you. But the idea behind the S curl is pretty much as simple as it sounds and that you're kind of weaving through your hair. So let me go through and kind of pick this up and make sure I'm getting all the pieces that need to be gotten here. And then I do what I always do. I kind of split it in half so that I know where the back half of my head is. So I'm going to clip this aside. And okay, so we're working with this section over here. Um, sorry guys, it's a lot more challenging to do this when I'm using my little camera because there's not a big old mirror next to it. So I normally like to brush out my layers in between just to be sure. And I start from the back and I work towards the front 
and depending on how thick your hair is how big you want like how big of sections you want you can kind of change it up but that's probably about average for me and I might actually break that in half um because I can do these fairly quickly it doesn't like and it doesn't take me so long I don't necessarily um worry about making smaller sections so you're gonna take it and kind of flip it and back and forth towards the end and straighten it so I know that that was a hard one to actually see so let's get to the next one so you can really see it so I'm clamping down at the top I'm kind of pulling it out some and then I'm flipping it in so I'm twisting my wrist outwards and then I'm gonna kind of slide it down and flip it back in and slide it down flip it the other way and then I like to keep the ends kind of straight so you see you get that like wave now depending on how thick your hair is and how wavy you want it you can kind of change it up for yourself but I like to kind of pull out from the root so that I keep some volume there and then I just kind of twist and slide and they're never all the same um, personally but the biggest thing that makes a difference for me is to so slide twist out twist in twist out twist in is straightening the bottom bit so make sure you kind of pull the bottom bit straight otherwise you're gonna end up with like a flip and that's not really what you want for the look so honestly once you get the hang of this I think that this is quicker than any other way that I do my hair um, and it la depending on how well your hair holds a curl and how well it lasts it might be different for you um, mine if I style it right and kind of prep it initially at the beginning my hair will hold for a couple of days so that's why it's part of the reason I'm also big into using the products that I do is because so pull out out in out in straighten um is because I know that it helps kind of it's like my own little hat home blow dryer so yeah I'm gonna work through this guy Of there but these aren't definitely these like aren't crazy curly like it's definitely a lot more straight curly than anything else um so yeah it's very tame and a lot of that like volume and everything that's gonna come will be with the finishing products but for the most part it's a very chill kind of wave so I lost the clip man down um let's do the top section here and this is where I always have to divide it up a little bit more because I feel like my hair is a bit more voluminous up here. So, we done. Oh, okay, hold on guys, let me fix my part. Struggle, all right, part is fixed. We have all of the top hair to play with now. Um, again, brushing it out and kind of working from back to front. I just like to work back to front you can do whatever you want but I do it so that I don't lose hair to be honest because I will lose track of what hair I've actually done and I feel like once I kind of just chuck it towards the back it's easier to deal with so um, I try not to at least at the root pull like straighten it too much because I don't want to lose all that volume so I try not to drag it straight straight at the root um, to the point where I am losing that volume that's also kind of why I flip it out at the root. The more you hold it, the more of a creasing and a curl you're going to get. So it really just depends on you and how much of like a crease-ish you want in it. It's almost like the adult version of crimping your hair so leave a comment below if you used to crimp your hair i 100 percent still own my crimper by the way guys i'm not getting rid of that sucker because one of these days i'm gonna want to go to like a party with it
and honestly you could like switch it up and do some other curls in here but for the most part we have our like beachy curly waves so i like to give it kind of a minute to cool off um and just kind of chill out and then we're gonna throw a few products in there none of these will be new these are just the ones that i use you could obviously use whatever you have or works for you but i am going to use my traditional beach wave spray i am almost out of this um and two other products so it's mostly cooled off i'm gonna give this a few more minutes to cool off i'm gonna drink some water and then we will come back and do the last little bit of styling so easy. so first things first i'm gonna throw in some beach wave spray um you can throw in however much you want i just kind of chuck it in as i feel like i need it throughout my layers so that's step one and you'll see me kind of pushing everything in and roughing it around and then to get the added kind of volume to go with that i will add in some of the igk beach club volumizing texture spray so this is one of my faves i got it in a um sephora box a few months ago in a travel size and i finally just got a big one so this is what really gives me the volume now because i've used the volume spray with before i started doing my hair i still have a fair amount of that in my roots so i make it like my hair is gonna look massive here in a second and then it's gonna fall down but i like to kind of build it up as much as possible and then kind of reactivate it but this helps you really start to see the like loose waviness and it's textured and it's kind of that beachy vibe that like just chill beachy vibe so it's definitely big it will calm down um and again i've already got some volumizing stuff in there so that really helps but this texture spray just really kind of gives it that grit and that extra bit of oomph i love 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 this stuff one of my favorites absolute favorites and then as always i'm gonna set it with my red cap so now my hair is massive if my ends are looking dry i'll take a little bit of oil on the bottom of my hands sorry let me just fix this for a second my lion mane okay so if my ends are looking dry i will take a little bit on my like rub a pump of the serum or oil in my hands and kind of rub it around and go towards my ends right now we're pretty okay but yeah it's so simple it's really not very like intense in the waves so and this is normally the wavier look that i get if i use like a one and a half inch curling iron instead of using my one inch so it's a lot more subtle in the waves but it's definitely bg um and obviously if you hold this straightener on longer you're gonna get more of a curl to it so it's just kind of up to you but yeah i will link all these products in the description box below depending on how wide your straightener is that might make a difference for you i think mine's probably three quarters to an inch i've had this guy for years it's the emperor shine this is the second one that i had uh, my hairstylist growing up had that straightener and so that was the one that i got so i love it um i don't use it nearly as often as i did before but i have some subtle beach waves going on and honestly this is one of the quickest ways to do your hair so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it shows my channel lots of love and support. Make sure you subscribe. I upload new videos on Sundays at 11 a.m. Central Time. And normally there's a new weekly vlog on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. I think 11 a.m. is the time that we're going to stick at. We're shooting for that goal. But everything that I've spoken about will be linked in the description box below. And there should be a new blog post on the blog today if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any requests for any more hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, tutorials anything like that leave that down below um let me know what you guys want to see i'm happy to make videos that you guys want to watch but yeah i love you guys you matter to me thank you so much for hanging out and i will see you all in my next video bye guys